All right, so uh, we're live. I figured we'd do some Xbox One X tonight because, well, listen, I just realized how many games there are on the Xbox Game Pass and just like the stuff that's included and what I'm paying a month and what they're giving me with the Xbox One X and stuff that I have inside the Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. You can't beat that price, man. You can't beat what the Xbox is giving you here in terms of uh, games. People saying these are all like a shitty games. I was like, Streets of Rage, it's shitty, I guess. You know, Hellblade Sensua, it's a shitty game. I guess uh, Halo Master Chief Collection, it's shitty. Uh, I guess uh, everything's shitty, right? No, it's not. It's either A... You are probably a fanboy on the other side of the aisle holding the blue flag or holding the red flag. I'm going to call people what they are, a fanboys. I'm not a fanboy. Okay, I play everything. But guess what? Xbox Game Pass Ultimate delivers. It brings what the others don't bring. And they bring games and plenty of them. I mean... <laughs> If I was just to play Game Pass Ultimate, dude, I would be streaming a brand new game, like a bunch of new games every week. There's so much that I haven't played that's on the Game Pass. All right. So, if you haven't tried the Game Pass, now is the time for you to try it. Now is the time for you to give it a try. Okay. You're going to spend more money on that Burger King. Yes, ten dollars on that Burger King, all on that pizza, twenty-one, twenty-two dollar Hawaiian pizza. You're gonna spend more money than you are going to spend on this, and yet you're getting so much in terms of value. You're getting so much in terms of saving money. Why would you pay twenty-four dollars for Streets of Rage when you can get it for free with Game Pass Ultimate? Why would you pay for Forza 8, why would you pay for Microsoft Flight Simulator coming out this uh, fall? Why would you pay for it when you can have it included? Why would you play for Halo Infinite when you got it included? And you can also play it on a PC, which I forgot to mention. And you can play additional PC games that's on uh, included with the Xbox Game Pass called uh, Cross platform pc and xbox you know granted you know i did criticize microsoft for not having a sub, sub significant triple a exclusives but let's be honest they inherit the mess okay 2013 was a bad year for microsoft 2013 was the year where they either a figure something out turn things around or they're going to end up like Dreamcast. So luckily Phil Spencer came in and he started reinventing everything from the scratch. He got rid of the uh, Kinect because people didn't want it. He started listening to what they were saying, to what the fans were saying. They were saying, hey, we don't want the Kinect. He got rid of the Kinect. So what did he do? They're saying, well, we're not happy with this console. It's too slow. It's too big. Uh, the fan is not working properly. It's overheating. Guess what he did? He revisioned a smaller, more compact console called the Xbox One S. That was the first console to produce high dynamic range. And I did a bunch of videos on that console. I, I gave that console to my brother. And it was a very significant step forward in 2016. And then what did he do in 2017? He reinvented even better console. The one I'm playing on right now called the Xbox One X. And now he's reinventing even more bigger, more powerful console called the X Series X, which is a totally new generation. It's not an upgrade. Uh, Xbox One S was an upgrade. Xbox One X was an upgrade. X Series X it's a new generation console okay so you gotta give 
Phil Spencer a credit for what he was able to achieve. But you also have to remember, he inherited the mess. Okay, they were losing money from the investors. Okay, because PlayStation 4 was killing them in 2013. All right, with Jack Trent, uh, the CEO back then. So you got to keep that in mind. You got to, listen, I don't care about your opinion. Bring the facts. The hell with your opinion. Look at the facts and lay out the facts and then we can have a discussion. Everybody has their opinion. Who's to blame? Well, it's not Phil Spencer's fault. He's not the one to be blamed. He wasn't charged. He wasn't in charge of the Xbox One. Okay, he was not the head of Microsoft uh, Xbox division back then. All right. It wasn't him. So you can't blame him for the fuck up that happens in that happened in 2012 and then 2013. All right. I think with the X Series X, I think we're going to see more games. We're going to see what the Microsoft Game Studios will be able to achieve. Okay? And don't be surprised if Microsoft buys CD Projekt Red and then CD Projekt Red works for Microsoft. Don't be surprised if that happens. Okay? So, I, I think we got to understand what happened first and why we didn't have such kick-ass new IP games on the Xbox because what I just said earlier Phil Spencer inherited the goddamn mess the mess that I wouldn't want on my worst enemy okay so you have to fix all of that it took a long time it took about 10 years yes almost 10 years close to 10 years to get all of that uh, squared away and now that he's got everything in place now with the uh, cross-platform PC, Xbox, X Cloud, and the X Series X, especially with the X Series X, with all that horsepower that's built inside that console, now the Xbox Game Studios will be able to do many different things between 2021 and then 2028. Between 2021 and then 2028 they'll be able to do a lot of different things. What's up, Mr. Urban World? How you doing, bro? You're always eating. That's good. Well, as long as you're exercising. I don't. I hope you're just not eating. I hope you're exercising as well. You know, because if you're just eating and not exercising, then that's not good, man. I mean, you got to eat three meals a day, a day, obviously. But you also got to exercise. You got to burn. You got to burn that energy, you know, because if you don't burn that energy, then it gets stored in there and uh, then you become like a soap, blobbed up like a soap. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, but hey, that's good, man. Bon appetit. I'm glad you're eating. You know, you got to eat. If you don't eat, you know, well, some people are saying that you can spend 30 days without eating technically you could you're not gonna die but you're gonna have a tough time you're gonna have a horrific horrible time you won't be able to focus you're gonna have headaches you're gonna feel disoriented you won't you won't be able to think uh, so when people say that uh, I'm not gonna say who said it because I like the person who said that and I respect that person and I'm not going to say who it is, but I disagree, you know. Technically, I mean, yes, you could survive 30 days without food, just drinking water. But you're really going to have a difficult time. Deficiency of protein, deficiency of the, the vitamins. Oh, you're going to have a terrible time. You're going to be sick, man. You're going to be vulnerable. Your immune system is going to be broken down. So you got to eat. So, like, you know... I disagree. I know who said this, and I'm not going to say who said it because I respect the guy and he's very uh, famous, but I disagree. You got to fucking eat. Go hunt something, hunt a rabbit, a deer, 
whatever and survive you gotta eat man <laughs> what's up Isaiah but technically he's right you could survive for 30 days without eating hey look uh, first of all I wouldn't want let me tell you some I wouldn't want to be uh, in case you guys are wondering, we're waiting for Hellblade Sen Senua's sacrifice. I wouldn't want to be anywhere near an individual to be my friend if that person is always happy. I was like, dude, that's scaring me. Anybody who is always happy 24-7, 365 days a year, that will scare me that's not normal that's that's fucking impossible that's just not possible if you see somebody every day or every other day at work or somewhere else and they're always smiling always happy everything's happy uh stay away from that person i'm telling you they're fake they're lying to you uh and you shouldn't hang around with people like that those are the worst kinds of people because they're pretending they're acting okay no way you can be fucking happy all the fucking time that's why we have different moods that's why we we have both good days bad days shitty days that's what makes us human all right but if you're always happy dude I don't want to be around you I don't want to be nowhere near you if you're always happy hundred like hundred percent throughout the day of every day, seven days a week, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. I don't want to be around you if you're always happy. You need to be in a different moods. And you shouldn't agree with everything. Okay? You need to get offended by something. You need to be angry when somebody does something to you. Okay? You got to speak up. You have to let your emotions flow. I hate when people do that when you have to pretend you know to pretend that you're something you're not and this is this is why I also blame Hollywood and these celebrities uh, because they're sending the wrong message you know they're sent and yes the movies can have influence because it goes into your mind you're watching a fucking movie and you're thinking oh this is how no that's not how that person is he's just a fucking actor he's uh, pretending they they took many fucking scenes to cut those scenes, to make those uh, edits together, to make it look like that. Uh, uh, as a human, as a normal human being, you should uh, have emotions. Sometimes, like today is a bad day. I don't care if it's your best friend. You tell your best friend, listen, today is not a good day. Man, just leave me alone. I love you. You're my best friend, but today is not a good fucking day. Like today, you need to piss off. That's tough love. I mean, you got to be honest. Tough love. My uncle taught me a tough love. Uh, yeah, it's good that you're suffering. Sometimes he would tell me. It's a good thing you're suffering. It's a tough love. You need to learn it. Uh, I know it sounds kind of harsh, but I get it. I fucking get it, you know. Uh, spoiled, being spoiled and being soft, you're not going to last too long when the shit hits the fan. Okay. So, uh, you have to have all of those emotions. Now, I'm not saying that you lose your cool, that you just go into a depression. I'm not saying, hey, you should go into a depression. And this game is dealing with a lot of depression called Hellblade Sensua's Sacrifice. It's about a mental health. Uh, and that's something that's never being brought up. Isn't it interesting? I know we're talking about the Xbox, and so we'll talk about the Xbox. But what really drives me crazy nowhere do you ever hear anyone anywhere mention the the mental health uh the most fragile thing fuck the virus fuck the cancer and all that shit that's something that you got to deal with one way or the other but no one seems to mention the most important part which is the mental health why are we ignoring that shit why is that being ignored i know there's a hotlines you can call and all that but the, the leaders, the politicians, and 
people in charge, celebrities and, and whatnot, they're never nearly enough mention and talk about the mental health problem and issue. They barely ever fucking mention that. You know, it's barely ever mentioned. The hell with your conspiracies. What about the mental health? That's barely ever being mentioned. And it's pretty sad that uh, we don't have anybody out there talking about that. I mean, uh, I think there's one person uh, that talks about that a little bit. And uh, kudos to him. Uh, and it's the governor of New York, uh, Andrew Cuomo. He, he mentions that like every other day on his press conference. He talks about that. He says, I don't care how tough you are. You know, I don't care how strong you think you are. This right here, it's fragile. Mental health, it's, it can be fragile. It can be, it can be very uh, vulnerable. So I don't care how many six, I mean, I don't care if you got six packs, uh, you know, your lats up to here, big shoulders, strong guy, doesn't fucking matter how strong you are. Uh, if you're not mentally strong here, if you're not balanced mentally here, then my friend, all that physica all, all that phys physique doesn't mean shit. So mental health, it's a very important thing. Uh, what happened to Heath Ledger? We'll never know. What happened to Prince? We'll never know. What happened to Chris Cornell? We'll never know. The guy from, uh, how many of them committed suicide? Uh, what's the other singer from uh, Lincoln Park? And all of them had families. Beautiful life. Allegedly beautiful life because we think oh they have kids they have a, a, a beautiful wife they got a big house we automatically think oh he must be happy you don't know what's going on inside people's fucking head let me repeat this one more time you do not know you don't possess that power just stop it right now you do not possess that power you do not know what's going on inside your girlfriend's head What's going on inside your uh, a best friend's head? You do not know. I don't care what comes out of his mouth, what he says. You do not know what's really going on inside. And this is the important thing that barely ever gets mentioned. And it drives me fucking crazy. You know. Hey, what's up, Stephen H? So that's what this game, uh, it's really, it's dealing with. Uh... It's the Hellblade Sensua. Senua's. I don't say Sensua. I don't know why I say Sensua. Senua's sacrifice. Valhalla's sacrifice. How you doing, Stephen H? I apologize. I don't know why I said Sensua's. I said Senua's. Senua's sacrifice. So, my apologies on that. I misread. It's Senua's sacrifice. I think the sequel is going to have that different name. And uh, I did play, by the way, I did play Hellblade 2. Not Hellblade 2, Hellblade 1. This one. Only for a little bit. When she's on that boat, canoeing on that little, not a boat, but canoe. She's canoeing on that river. And then she hears voices and the voices are telling her, this is that, 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 you know, they're like talking to her and shit like that, which this sometimes, well, not sometimes, all the time, it happens to everybody. You have these voices in your head. And I don't care who you are. I don't give a shit if you admit it or don't admit it. Everybody who, all of you who are watching, drop it. Yes, you talk to yourself in the mirror. Yes, you have voices in your head. Just stop it. Don't argue with me. You know it. I know it. Let's not... Uh, stroke each other here. Let's be honest. That's called a real talk. And this game deals with that. This game deals with that 100%. Big time. And I felt like maybe it's time that I jump into this game and try it out. And there's some action. It is a Ninja Theory game. So there's some action, obviously. Uh, but uh, the game really deals with uh, the mental issues. And I can't wait to, to see uh, Hellblade 2. Hellblade 2. Uh, that's going to be... I think that's going to be probably the game 
that's going to sell the X Series X more, possibly more than uh, Halo Infinite, seriously. Possibly more than uh, Halo Infinite. And I think Hellblade, not that I'm taking anything away from Halo Infinite, the graphics will be amazing with the real-time ray tracing, but uh, Hellblade 2, it's really going to be the uh, signature of what uh, the X Series X can deliver on the launch date uh, this uh, fall, possibly November, October, maybe. I think November will be when we're going to see X Series X, 100%. You know. Yeah, there is a lot of stuff going on. Uh, there is a new events beta, which I also need to download. Uh, this new events beta, which will be uh, downloaded, that's where they're going to show a bunch of games. And I'm going to live stream this uh, when it happens. They're going to showcase pretty much everything that's going to be coming to the X Series X. And I can't freaking wait. Uh, I think that's next week. So I'm um, marking my calendar. Can't wait to see it, man. <clears throat> so, uh, yes, uh, I changed my priorities a little bit. I know I said, <coughs> fuck, man. Why well, am I joking right now? I know I said PlayStation 5. And I will get PlayStation 5. But uh, I really want to get uh, uh, the X Series X first. You know, because I kind of started this channel. Dude, I kind of started this channel with Microsoft, with the Xbox. It all kind of started with the Xbox. You know, the Xbox One S and then the Xbox One X. And I kind of want to make that trilogy and bring the X Series X this November or possibly October. Who knows? Maybe Phil Spencer will surprise us and it will be re uh, released in, on October. Hopefully. <sighs> I'm already pumped about the X Series X um, because do you guys watch uh, Evans, uh, Austin Evans or something like that? He was invited to the Microsoft Studios uh, in Seattle and uh, they let him play around with the X Series X. They let him look at the inside of the X Series X, the components built inside uh, and... Uh, if Aus if if Austin is uh, if Austin Evans is impressed, uh, dude, I'm impressed too. And uh, I like that guy. I like the guy Austin Evans. I watch his videos, and uh, if he's impressed, uh, I'm impressed too. And and what I saw so far, uh, watching his videos, uh, his videos generated like a millions of views. Uh, the X Series X is truly a next generation like legitimately kick-ass next generation american console all right so i have to say that american console i know some people are gonna hate that how dare you well it is american console okay so it's kind of cool uh, you know what i mean <laughs> all right let's go uh play hellblade uh, Senua's Sacrifice. Let's do this. Me too, man. I love... Uh, yeah, the guy with the glasses. He's a pretty cool guy, man. Uh, Austin Evans uh, is a pretty cool guy. You know, uh, something happened to, to his apartment a long time ago where all of his stuff... I don't know what happened, but he, the entire apartment burned. And all of his stuff that was inside was burnt. I don't know how it happened. <laughs> You know, short circuit or something. I can't remember all the details. But uh, his apartment burned. And all the stuff that was inside the apartment was destroyed. His gear, his monitors. And then everybody came in. All the big YouTubers came in. They raised the money. They donated to him. And they helped him out. And I think that was one of the best examples of what YouTube community should be. Helping another uh, content creator, helping another YouTuber when he needs help. And I think that's where I really, that was the one thing that really made me happy about the YouTube is that, hey, this is how it should be. 
it shouldn't be we attacking each other uh, you know, you got more subs than me, blah, 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 blah. It should be about helping each other, helping one another, supporting one another. Yes, we can compete, but we can also support one another. And the fact that all the major big YouTubers came in to help them out uh, was really, uh, it's beautiful, man. It was just beautiful. Here we go, Hellblade. Senusa. <sighs> Ninja Terry. Yeah, that's uh, Austin Evans. Yeah. All right, just to let everybody know, this game, it's not running in 4K. It's running in 1440p, upscaled to 4K. But that's okay. Uh, I'm still upscaling it to 4K. What is this, a Hellblade feature? Oh, I missed 4K upscale. All right, let's go. Yeah, he's, he's, he's cool, man. Yeah, yeah, he did a pretty good job, by the way, rebuilding that uh, X Series X console. And there's a reason why it's vertical like that. Like, when you see why it looks the way it looks... Then you understand. When you take it apart, you understand why they built it like a monolith. And I like the monolith. It represents 2001 Space Odyssey movie. I think it's pretty cool. Hello. Who are you? Doesn't matter. Uh, good for him. God bless him, dude. Good for him. I like him. You're safe with me. the others let me tell you about Senua oh it's Senua now her story has already come to an end but now it begins anew what's happening it's breathing dead it's breathing it's breathing he knows she's getting closer he can feel her coming Watch. closer Journey deep into darkness. There will be no more stories after this one. I think Hellblade and God of War should make a baby and then create something. I mean, Ninja Theory in Santa Monica Studios. Oh, how rude of me. I never told you of the others. This is me now controlling the game, you know. By the way, it looks good, man. It looks Maybe real good. Tragedy. That's not quite true. Somehow when the Hellblade 2 comes out, you guys will totally forget Jane. the Valhalla from Ubisoft. Seriously, it's going to make Valhalla look like a joke when you see uh, Hellblade 2. But well, you know who created the Heavenly Sword, uh, Mr. Urban World? The Ninja Theory created the uh, Heavenly Sword. Yes, it is real after all. She's finally arrived in the land of Mist and Fog. The place the Northmen call. Visual effects lead Mark Slater Tunstill. So anyway, I'm saving money for... Uh, the X Series X, uh, as soon as it becomes available, dude, I'm going to pre-order that. Right? That's like my priority right now, dude. So, I want to say it publicly. That's it. There won't be any changes. I'm saving money for the X Series X. 
Um, as soon as it becomes uh, available for pre-order, dude, I pre-order that shit. Like the second it becomes available. The drop. <clears throat> Wow, the graphics are good, man. Look at this. This is not a place of rest. We can't do this. Go back, go back. I'm going to do that to you. Can you see them? Can you see them? They're going to do that to you. It almost feels like a movie, man. Stop. Can you feel them watching? Yeah, Steve. Uh, well, guess what? I'll be... Uh, live streaming it and i'll be at the same time holding my phone with me ready so as soon as the phil spencer opens his mouth pre-order i click pre-order like immediately like th the same second there won't be any delay it'll be like the exact same second he opens his mouth pre-order i pre-order I did the same thing for the Xbox One X. I know what to do. I'll be ready. Trust me. I'm get. Listen, there will be an unboxing of the X Series X, and you're gonna see X Series X this holiday season, this fall. You can count on that. That's a guarantee. Turn away. It's always there, just out of sight, where you're most vulnerable. I know some people are gonna say, but you change your mind. No, 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 no. There won't be any minds being changed here. I already made up my mind. It's gonna be X Series X. End of story. PlayStation 5 will have to take a back seat, wait a little bit, but the X Series X, it's a powerhouse, man. That goddamn console is just, man, it's... Watch the videos from Austin Evans, and uh, that shit is pretty fucking powerful, man. Uh, and for five hundred dollars, oops, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> for five hundred dollars, man, that's a great fucking deal. Great fucking deal. How do I know it's five hundred dollars? I went to the future, came back. Okay, all right. <laughs> it is. It's insanity, man. Um, dude, I'm so pumped about the X Series X. Jesus, man. I've been watching uh, all day long today when I made that other video. I've been watching Austin Evans uh, videos and man. Whew, can't fucking wait. What is she looking at? What is she leaving behind? Did you guys see the Forza 8? <gasps> Did you guys see those uh, little photos that came out? Forza 8? Jesus and Microsoft Flight Simulator oh my god Microsoft Flight Simulator is just gonna be photorealistic as it's gonna get it's fucking unbelievable man there's no going back I think photorealism it's coming with the X Series X you're gonna see it man it's insane oh yeah real-time ray tracing too man advanced shadow tracing as well oh. There's nothing to go back to, and worse to look forward to. Why don't you join us? Maybe you too have a part. I have a feeling that they will, Mr. Urban World. I'm really confident that they will. I'm really like 2022 or something like that, or maybe 2021. I I have a feeling that they will. Wow, dude, look at this game. This is like God of War. Better. I mean, almost looks a little bit better than God of War. Or almost equal as God of War. To take a closer look to see. Why isn't she focusing? She needs to focus now. She needs to use her eyes. Do not forget my story, Senua. Because your darkness comes from hell. And your fate lies there. They say the burning of a corpse will take you straight to Hella's gate. But gods and the living will follow this path. 
he must leave the Isles of Orkney across the Eastern Sea and find a road that leads north and down through deep, dark valleys. After nine nights of riding, you will follow a great river and will find a bridge covered in gold. The path to Helheim goes from there. Well, one of my biggest problems with cloud gaming is I want to play those games, but I cannot play them because it's not working. Even though I can stream in 4K, even though I can stream in 4K, meaning I have a good internet, I have a pretty good internet, I can clearly, you can see it's 4K, and I can stream in 4K. But because the data center where I live and the servers are being very crappy and they're being overloaded ever since they made a Stadia free to play, everybody's jumping in on it. Everybody's jumping on it and the servers are not stable. And then I get the wet stick of it. Same thing with the shadow. Can't even launch it. Uh, guys, I want to say before we continue a couple of things. Hey, it's cool that we have cloud gaming available. Hey, that's awesome. Have fun with it. If, if you can run it, have fun with it. I don't have time to waste the entire day trying to tweak things around to play a goddamn game. And I sure as hell don't want to pay 60 bucks for something that I can't play. I'm sorry. It's just we're not ready. Maybe in 2031, when we live in this great mecca of high-speed internet, of fiber optic, 10 gigabits upload speed, 10 gigabits download speed, when we live in this super mecca of satellite internet or whatever, then fine. But it's not ready for prime time cloud gaming. I was wrong. I'll even fucking say it here publicly. I was wrong. I was wrong. Well, there you have it. There you go. Cut this part of the video. Put it out there on the Reddit. I was wrong. Cloud gaming is not fucking ready for prime time. It's not ready. It's just not ready. Sorry. And this coming from a guy who's got fucking great equipment. I got great routers, modems, okay? And I still have a difficult time playing the games on Stadia and on Shadow. Yes, Steve. I agree on that. Not this time. I mean, look. What bothers me about the cloud gaming is that everybody's acting as if 
Oh, get rid of your consoles. Get rid of your Xbox. Get rid of your PlayStation. Get rid of your PC. What are these cretins talking about? Get rid of your consoles. Are you out of your mind? Are you mental? You want to get rid of you want me to get rid of my console so I can go ahead and spend money on something that I don't own to play it from a cloud. Hopefully I'll be able to play it from a cloud. If their servers would fucking work. And you know, what are you guys defending? Fine, whatever. But don't tell me people should get rid of their consoles. Hey, enjoy your world of cloud gaming, stay there, have a little fun, but don't tell everybody else you need to get rid of your consoles. The cloud gaming is going to kill the consoles. No, it's not going to kill the consoles. And if you got rid of your consoles, then you're an idiot. You are the one that's an idiot. Whoever you are, you're the one that's an idiot for selling your Xbox One X or your PlayStation because of the Stadia. What is wrong with you? What in the hell is wrong with you? No one in their right mind would ever do that kind of a shit. And besides, you can get the money you're going to spend just to get started on the Stadia. You can buy Xbox One X for $300. Dude, 4K player built in. 4K streaming built in. Native 4K games built in. Excellent textures. DirectX 12. And you're going to trade that for Stadia? And when you can buy Xbox One X for $300. Look, man, Steve, here's the thing, man. I'm not saying people shouldn't have the ability to play on the cloud. Dude, play on the cloud, play on the toilet, play in the sewers, I don't give a, play inside a volcano, I don't care. But, this idea of these fanboys who are rising with all this cloud gaming crap, telling everybody, the cloud gaming, yes, I don't need no console anymore, consoles are garbage. Yeah, whatever. That's why, see, with every new technology, you got the fanboys. And this is the epidemic. This is a pandemic. We got two pandemics. We have one, which is the real one. And we got another pandemic, which is the fanboys. The fanboys all over the fucking place. Oh, yeah, cloud gaming. Duh. Screw the consoles. What are you talking about? Screw the consoles. I'm okay with the consoles. Because I don't need the internet to play this game. I just need a hard drive space to play this game. Locally. And you're never going to have this type of detail from a cloud. You're never going to have this type of detail and accuracy and, and low latency. As you are playing it locally. From your console or locally from your PC. Physical media will always win will always survive because it's physical media. I know. But so, Steve, for me, this concept will never... This is something that will always be with me. As long as I'm alive. Nothing else will, will change my mind. I don't care how fast your internet is. I don't care what kind of kick-ass servers you have. This will, this will always be something that I'm going to look forward to. Something where I play locally. From my hard drive. A talking head. Is that a Phil Harrison in there? I believe it's a Phil Harrison. Is that you, Phil Harrison? Stadia will survive. Stadia. The source of the darkness is in hell. And the goddess, 
Hella holds his soul back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Heaven God. Heard. I look at the graphics in this game. Oh, my God, man. All right, let's go. the hell is this hold on his soul is still what happened to this valhalla she needs to save his soul. She what happened to valhalla That's a good question. I have no idea what happened to HTC. I think they just started making virtual reality. They said, the hell with the phones. Let's just do virtual reality. There's nothing here. I thought maybe there was something on the boat. Let's go check out these uh, impaled bodies over here. We gotta go to Helheim. She forgets too. It's interesting. You know what's so interesting about this game is the voices in her head. Like you're going the wrong direction, or why is she going that way? Or why she's doing this? And and this really happens in real life. You know, you have these voices in your head, man. I know you don't want to admit it, but this is a this is a fact. Everybody has this in their heads. Okay, how, how, okay, if you don't have any voices in your head, then what tells you to go ahead and pick up the phone and call your friend? Your voice fucking tells you to pick up the fucking phone and call your friend. Okay? Oh no, that's thinking. Well, that's voice. I think Helheim. They said it. go to the Helheim, which is right here. Wait, wait. I like that you can go anywhere, dude. That's kind of cool. You can explore. This is Helheim. The textures look pretty good, man, on the Xbox One X. Pretty good, man. So, Helheim, it's here. There it is. Oh, dude, that would be freaking awesome. <laughs> no, uh... And then Phil Harrison is going to be, uh, what's the name of that villain in, uh, in the Star Wars? Uh, not Darth Vader, the other guy. Uh, R Lord Palpatine, or whatever the fuck name is. <laughs> the Northmen speak of nine worlds. The world of men they call Midgard. 
Sky gods dwell in Asgard. The gods of earth, harvest, wind, and sea dwell in Vanaheim. <laughs> the good elves dwell in Alfheim. The evil ones dwell in Svartalfheim. The mountain giants dwell in Jotunheim. The fire giants dwell in Muspelsheim. Niflheim is the world of ice and darkness. Only the dead dwell in Helheim. And that is where you must travel. Helheim! This this is the way I guess. Should I climb down here or go through here? Are you scared? You should be scared. Quickly, Tom, quickly. Igor, Phil Harrison's calling. Hold on. There he is. Phil Harrison sent a text. Says you're outcasted from Stadia forever. <laughs> it is Phil. He just sent a text. I mean, text. He says <laughs> you're outcasted. You have no permission to go inside the Stadia ever. You're being outcasted from Stadies. You are not welcome to stay these. What's she waiting for? You've got to come. Where have you gone? Why did she do that? She shouldn't have done it. She can't go back now. <laughs> no, this is it. The hidden path. Don't kill me. I'm not one of them. Don't listen. I was just hiding. I find I live longer that way. Don't listen. I'm never let the bastards catch me again. Never! Wait. Who are you? You're just a memory. Drew? Tales of the Northmen. They call me Druth. A liar. He's lost. An old fool. <laughs> Druth is my truth. Huh? It's good to see you again. You kept your vow. Guide you. In this life and the next. I will tell you my story. That's creepy. Tell me your stories again, old friend. I'm listening. The runes seal the gates to hell. Focus your inner eye. And you too will see what's hidden in plain sight. Yes, uh, Urban World. This version is available on PC. Um, well, that's the beauty about the Game Pass. There is one phone uh, years back, a couple of years, three years ago, called LG V20. I think I still have it. LG V20. LG V20 uh, allows you to take the battery 
and put the new one in. Take it apart and put the new one in. So LG V20 obviously doesn't have the, the, the best screen. Uh, but uh, And it's missing a bunch of features. But however, it's just a simple phone. You can uh, remove the batteries. That's the LG V20. I still have it, as a matter of fact. Alright, there it is. Right here, right here. Hold on. <laughs> I've been told that before. Uh, people tell me, man, you have this influence. And sometimes in a good way, but sometimes also in a bad way. Maybe it's here. Hold on. Got to look around. I need to find these letters. There it is. The gate is open. Go through the gate. Go through it. It's dangerous. Follow it. What's behind the gate? Where will it take you? It's not safe. <laughs> Into Valhalla. Everyone else laughed. My people paid the heavy price. No one should tell you, uh, you what to buy, what not to buy. The Northmen feel our fury. You should be able to determine. Listen, we're all different. We all have different tastes. No one should tell you how you should live. No one should tell you how you should eat. No one should tell you what you should eat. No one should dictate your life. Okay. They weren't real. And if somebody does that, tell them, tell them to go fuck themselves and then kiss your rebel dick and also kiss your ass while you're farting. Okay, you can tell them that. Uh, so don't let anybody tell you otherwise. <clears throat> Or you can tell them, don't make me call Nanya. And they're going to say, who is Nanya? Tell them, don't make me call my Nanya business. So it's not of your business. Don't press it. Sit over there and do what you do. Leave me alone. So that's what I usually tell people. And they back off. They back off and their egos get stripped down. Don't ever let people use you, man. Don't ever let people control you. Don't let that shit ever happen. Never. And it's just not me saying it like because I'm on YouTube. I say it in real life. A lot.
mean, I'm a cool guy, but when somebody tells me what I should do, what I shouldn't do, I yell really loud in their face, tell them to fuck off. And they do. That simple. <laughs> It's your life, man. No one should tell you shit. That's your life. It's not their life. It's your life. You make your decisions. You're an adult. You have your own responsibility for your decisions, and they're your decisions. Simple as that. Exactly, Steve. No one should tell you, oh, dude. Why are you eating that? Or, dude, why are you watching that, man? No, no, no. You tell them to go fuck themselves. Immediately. But trust me. Uh, that used to happen back in the days. Without this social media crap. But now, you're not going to see that. You know, back in the 80s and the 90s, people used to be cocky and they used to come up to your face and say shit. But now, no. Um, things are different. Now they're using the social media to hide behind their fake accounts. Uh, now they don't have the balls. They don't have the kahunas to tell you something in your face. They're not going to do it. Trust me. I guess it's the same with heights. Because... It makes them feel. Pretend it's good. It makes them feel comfortable and secure. But you know, hiding behind some fake you. accounts and then telling you what to do. Uh, like that. That's why I don't tolerate nor nor do I pay attention to people what they say online. But, uh, dude, I can't remember last time. Really, it's been like maybe 25 years. I can't remember last time somebody came up to me, and said some shit to me. Uh. -uh. Do you know why that never happens anymore with me? Because I made fucking sure that people know when they meet me, hey, this is where the line is drawn. You cross that fucking line, motherfucker. And I said, if you cross that line, motherfucker, that's it. And you have to let them know that other side of you. I'm not saying you should be an asshole. I'm not, you know campaigning, advertising for you to be a prick, but people should get what shall you receive. If you receive a bunch of bullshit from them, you need to bring that plate back with them with a mountain of bullshit and just splash it right into their face. Okay? What I'm trying to say is, don't ever eat from the same dish of bullshit that someone gave you. Make sure you... Uh-oh, careful now. Careful. 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 Don't listen to the bullshit. Careful. Careful. You got this. I know you got this. Don't worry. There you go. You see? She made it. Look, man, I'm probably the coolest guy you're going to meet, like, in real life. Uh, but, hey, there's other sides of me you don't want to know. And uh, I don't recommend it for anybody to unlock that other side of me. You do not want to do it. Believe me. Even I don't want to do it. But some people, they're stupid. Some people are born stupid. And then they get what they get. And you can't, you can't feel sorry for them. That's the way of life. That's the way life is. Some people, they need to be taught a lesson. And they're going to learn that lesson. All that cockiness, running around, being cocky, running your mouth. Ah, that, that comes to an end too. You know, doesn't last forever. So, this is all from my personal experience, man. 41 years. I've been through it all.
there's nothing you can tell me or nothing you can shock me that I haven't already been through. The world of the dead is ruled by the giantess, Hela, daughter of Loki. <clears throat> the gods feared her bloodline, bad on her mother's side and yet much worse on her father's. So, as a child, the Allfather cast her down into Helheim and gave her power over those who die of sickness, age, hardship, and self-slaughter. In all of the Nine Worlds, only Hela can resurrect the dead. To Hela, your Dillion was sacrificed. And with her, you must bargain. Well, you know what? It's true. Uh, and when you think about it, you know, you want to have children. Look, I love children. I have two beautiful nieces and, and one nephew. I love them to death, you know. Uh, and I'll do anything for them. I'll die for them. Uh, and I love them. And I love children. But do I personally want to bring children into this world with the way things are? Especially if you don't have financial means. Financially, if you are not like steady and have that financial means to support them in this very unpredictable world. I don't know. I, I really, uh, I would never put anyone in that kind of position, in that kind of a burden to bring someone into this kind of a life. Because let's I'll be honest, this is not a, situations in this world are really not that good. There's a lot of crazy shit going on. There's a lot of unpredictable shit going on. The economy, it's on a turmoil. There's a lot of stuff out there. It's just bad shit fucking crazy. Okay? So the question is, do you want to bring the children into this world knowing what you know, knowing how fucked up it is, knowing how terrible it is around the world? I'm not talking about your little uh, cocoon that you live in Beverly Hills or whatever. Okay, I'm not talking about your safe zone. I'm talking about the world. Okay, and your kids will travel. Your kids will explore the world, but they're not going to be ready for what's out there waiting for them. Okay, and the question is, do you want to bring them into this world knowing what you know and how fucked up it is? And that's a good point. That's a, it's a really good point you just made, uh, Mr. Urban World. And this is one of the reasons why I don't want to do it. You know, of course I can find somebody. I can settle down and, and, and have kids, you know. That's easy. That's easy. I'm a smooth talker. I, I, can, I, can, I can convince you. I can convince you to eat a raccoon shit on a stick barbecued. Raccoon shit. Yes. Okay. But do I want to do that? Of course not. Some people have kids because, well, it should just happen. They forgot to pull out, and it is what it is. It's yours. Pay child support. This kid is yours. Now you got to pay child support. That happens, of course, more times than you would have imagined. You know, because whatever. They forgot to pull out or whatever the fuck it is that they were doing. Maybe they were high when they were doing it. Maybe they were drunk when they were doing it. You don't fucking know. Uh, in the heat of the moment. You know, one thing led to another, and then boom, she's pregnant. It's yours. That happens a lot, and it happens with the teenagers. It happens with uh, the uh, the coeds, you know, the college students. It happens more than you would think. And then you got all these kids running around, fatherless, motherless, because the mommy is too busy being a prostitute, and daddy is in jail, or daddy's and you know coked up on some shit and he's a loser and then you got that kid running through all these different tutors and and foster homes and whatnot trying to find a good parenting and then what do you got then they go out to the street then they go out there and they start joining all kinds of stupid gangs and all kinds of stupidity out there that's on the street they get hooked up on some kind of shit and that's that and then you got what you've got okay <clears throat> that's in a nutshell so the question is do you want to bring somebody I personally would never do that you know, you know. so I agree with you uh, Mr. Urban World you, you really made a good point and not many people talk about that 
you know, it's like, oh, you don't like children? I was like, no, of course I love children. Of course I would love to have one of my own. But do I want to do that? Do I want to bring him into this world knowing what I know? You know. Yeah, and you have to be really, you got to, you got to be like in a position where you know, like, if you're somebody who's wealthy, you know, if you're somebody like, let's say, Bill Gates, Bill Gates has gold, has silver, has savings, uh, have all kinds of shit. He has wealth. So for him, he doesn't have to worry about it. His kids will always be protected. They're going to be in a private schools, away from the public schools, in a very protected public schools, uh, private colleges and all that shit. Uh, so they're taken care of. They are taken care of. For the rest of us, good luck, pretty much. So you have to think about that as well. Because right now, there is no middle class. Right now, what you have, it's either A, you are wealthy, or you are poor. There is no middle class. There used to be a middle class back in the 80s, early 90s. Now what you have is this. Either you are wealthy, or you are poor. Only two choices. I don't care what they tell you on the television. I'm telling you, there's only two levels. Either you're wealthy or you're down below. I always try to stay optimistic. Mr. Urban World, like I told you, I have two nieces, one nephew. I don't want them to, to live in a, in, a, in a hell of a world. I, I do want to see world getting better. I am optimistic, you know. I always try to be optimistic, you know. I'm not some negative nanny. I do want to see world get better. And I don't care who does it. I really don't care who does it. Uh, I, I just want to see smart, intelligent people with calm, cool heads, with less selfishness. Uh, that's what I want to see. But right now, currently... At this moment, the indications are not saying that that's going to happen in the future. Uh, but I always try to stay positive, you know. I always try to keep it positive. Because um, as much as things are bad, I still know that there's a lot of good people out there. There's a lot of goodness out there. And um, I believe in that, you know. But you're right. I mean, things are pretty, pretty bad. And, and if you were to ask me, what are my predictions for future? Ask anybody. What are their predictions for the future? Well, they're going to tell you. I mean, unpredictable. We don't know. You know, last year we were living great, living fine. And now today, this year, it's like we went through a different dimension. No one saw it coming. What's going to happen next year? We're going to deal with the aliens coming from the space. Our giant Godzillas and monsters will be coming out of Pacific. What's going to be next? I don't know, man. I, I wish I had the answers, brother. But I just don't know. I wish I knew. Believe me, I wish that I knew, but I don't. My God, this game looks so beautiful, man. I can't wait for the Hellblade 2. If I'm impressed with the Hellblade 1, then I'm going to be blown away by Hellblade 2. I mean, look at the graphics, man. Look at this. Now she's in anxiety. This is anxiety, panic attacks.
<laughs> you never know, brother. The Pacific Ocean is gigantic. You never know. Oh, here we go. Oh, hell yeah. Oh yeah, man. I'm I'm like very impressed. I know, me too, man. I was just impressed with the with the moves. A vision of what's to come. Poor Senua. The darkness does not bargain. It does not reason. It is rot. And now it has taken hold. It will spread towards her head, the seed of the soul, until there is nothing left of her. <laughs> oh my god. All of her suffering will have been for nothing. It's just a matter of time. The doors of Valhalla. The dark rot will grow each time you fail. Oh, so I cannot fail. Oh my god. If the rot reaches Sen Senua's head, her quest is over. Oh my god. And all the progress will be lost. Jesus! That's crazy. The hardest battles are fought in the mind. That is what Dillian taught her. With every defeat, the dark rot will grow and soon it will take her soul. This game is about Vikings and this one Viking girl, uh, which is her, Senua, but... Um, it's really about a mental health, you know, and depression. And uh, you don't know what's what to believe, what's real, what's inside your head, what's real, what's not real. Are you imagining things or are you really seeing things? Uh, so it's really a mind trick game. Uh, so it's it's pretty interesting, man. For now, at least, she still has control of her mind. And she will fulfill her vow. Whatever the cost. Listen to me, Senua. The goddess Hela lies behind the gate to Helheim. To open the gate, you 
must first face the gods that guard it. The god of fire, Surt, and the god of illusion, Van Raven. Spill their blood to open the gate to Helheim and enter the land of the dead. It won't open. How will she get through? Why won't it open? Why can't she open it? She needs to challenge the gods. She has to fight two gods first. Two gods? Two, two gates. gates. This reminds me a little bit of uh, God of War. It really, it's like it really has that God of War feel. It really does. Choose a gate, Senua. Two gates, two gods. Choose two, Senua. Which one? Which gate should I choose? This one, that one, or this one? The Northmen say that in the beginning there was nothing but darkness. Bitter cold to the north, fiery hot to the south. They say the cold formed ice, which melted from the sparks from the south. The power of the darkness gave life to the dripping ice. Valraven, ancestor of the sea. Valraven. Of ravens. He hunts his prey with his powers. Valraven. Feasts on their remains. All right, so we have to fight them. To Valraven and defeat him and Valraven. The gate to Helheim cannot be opened without it. All right, let's do it. Where's my sword? Grandsons were dark after him. Of his daughters and granddaughters, some were monstrous, but others fair. But there was another who came from the ice. Buri. In shape, he was like a man, big and powerful. His son, Bor, took a fair giant to be his wife. And they had three sons. Odin was the eldest. And the Northmen Odin you know, they should really hire... Um... Liam Neeson to do uh, the voiceover in the background. Yeah, he does have those similarities, you know, because they're dealing with all these elements, you know, uh, the witchcraft, uh, the mind games. Uh, but this game, it's really about, uh, it's a mental health. It's about uh, mentality issues. Uh, what's real, what's not real, you know? Like, some people think that they are sick, but they're not sick. Some people think that their hands are not their hands. I mean, you know, the mind can play all sorts of crazy tricks on you. The mind can really fuck you up. Uh, because that's your central processing unit. And whatever it's going on in there will affect your body and your state of mind. And I think that's what this game is really dealing with. It's not so much about these creatures or these witches and all this other stuff. It's really about that mental health. Illusion hides the path to Balraven. Don't trust your eyes. Find another way to see the truth. Door. No, it's, no, it's not. Push it. Push it. Push it. Come on. Come on. Push it. 
push it real hard. Push, push it. Push it real hard. You hear those voices? That's basically what she's dealing with. All these little voices in her head. These little demons. What the hell is this? Something's changed. Like what? Hold on. Oh yeah, man, the gaming has really become like an art. You know, like Streets of Rage, that was gaming back in the days, you know. You can call that a gaming, like Streets of Rage, um, Karate Kid, Frogger, Lunar Landing, you know, all those games back in the days, you can call them um, games. But this, it's something entirely different it's like um an art like a digital art i need to check something here there's something here and uh i need to figure it out they said i can't see it i don't see it i'm like what i don't see there's got to be something here I'm missing. Wait, 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 wait. What happened? Just something just changed. It's funny. We all want to see behind the veil, don't we? But once we do, we mostly just close our eyes again and pretend what we saw was never really there. What? It opened? How? Wait. How did I not... Okay. What? Oh, now it's closed. Oh, shit. And now it's opened. But you see, it's playing the tricks on her. This whole thing, it's playing the tricks on her, on her mind. I think movies are, like, as equal to the video games right now. Because the way they're being created, it's really more like, uh, like a movie. Um, games have become, like, piece of art, like, like TV show. Like, movies and TV show. They're like in the same, uh, if you ask me personally, they're like in the same wavelength. This is the door that just opened. Yes. Climb up there.
hell is this? Wait. Things too dangerous here. Not to go through here. I uh, it will happen. I'm pretty sure. You will see John Wayne. You will see uh, all these actors. You might even see. Um. Uh, dude, you'll see all kinds of weird shit, man. Uh, <laughs> guaranteed. No, I'm not going to be afraid. I need to go through here. I'm missing something here. I'm missing something. There's something has to be here. Talk to me. Wait, 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 wait. I should be able to open this door. Come on. Open it, open it. This is the price she pays for seeing things differently. Because once you gaze into the relentless darkness, all that lurks within it can see you too. Hell. What the hell? Oh yeah, man. This uh, sequel to this game. Oh shit. Come on. Mother. Find what she's looking 
you would think by now that the Xbox would become my sponsor <laughs> after all the videos I have done for them, man. We gotta find and match this symbol. There's something. Ah, here we go. To break the seal, align the ravens with the mark of Valraven. Oh, dude, I would be forever. Let me tell you, man. I would personally like ask him to Skype with me for like 10, 15 minutes, and I would personally just tell him thank you so much. You know, if he if he would ever do that, man, I'll be like, oh my god, man. Yeah, I would be forever grateful. And uh, it would be like an honor, you know. Imagine just Skyping with him, just like talking with him and asking him questions and stuff like that. That'd be so awesome, dude. <clears throat> oh, yeah, listen. Mike Tyson, this is what I'd be telling people. You can't forget and, and remove something that lives inside of you. That animal never left Tyson. It's just he locked him up. He locked him up. He was able to control him. He figured out the way to control that animal. Uh, so what you saw in that video, him moving around, doing all that stuff, he unlocked the animal, but controlling it, supervising it, and was showing everybody how hard he hits and how fast he hits with a power that doesn't just come with his forearm and his right and left hook but he uses his back did you notice left and right he's using his back force like a kicker from this back to give that shattering impact into your lungs into your rib cage into your liver kicking the air out of your lungs and fucking you up and he does all of that all right and he also had a great trainer, Kaz Amato, you know. So, uh, Mike Tyson still has it. Uh, <laughs> don't fuck with Mike Tyson. Don't just think because he's old. Oh, he will knock the fuck out of you, put you in a coma. Guaranteed. Like, guaranteed. Listen, they're friends. He loves Fury. Uh, as you all know, uh... Gypsy King says that his father named him, named him Fury. Uh, and they both been going through some difficult times. They have some similarities uh, here and there. Uh, but um, at the end of the day, the legend will knock you out. <clears throat> he definitely does. 
<laughs> Hold on. Yeah, I think Joe Rogan released that video. I saw it. I mean, I wasn't shocked because I already knew. I, I, I know that he still has that animal inside of him. That shit never left. It's always there. You can change who you are. You know, there's an old quote. You can't change who you are. But, but, you can control it and evolve. Got it? You can't change who you are, but you can control it, keep it inside, and evolve. <clears throat> It's all up in here, listen. Um, I want to say a couple of things before we continue. Uh, let's use a photo mode. I want to show you how beautiful this is. Just look how beautiful this looks, man. Look at that fur. It's crazy. She looks like a like a predator's girlfriend. No, she's cool. So it's open. We can open it now. I mean, look, you have to work out. You have to be in a physical shape. You got to be careful what you're eating. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's right up here. Uh, mentality. Guys, uh, yes, you can get juiced up. Yes, you can train really hard. You can be this monster of a guy, but man, if you're not right up here, dude, if a central processing unit, if this right here, it's not working, all of that is for nothing, man. You know what I mean? And this is something that's so true. You can ask any professional athlete or ask anybody out there who's been a professional athlete in the past. They will tell you that it's all up in here, dude. This, this thing right here is the most fragile. And that's what this game is dealing with, you know. This is what I've been trying to tell people. Like, if you lose this, you're done. It's over. You know. So, your mentality equals to your strength, equals to your equilibrium. Because this is your equilibrium, central processing unit. This up here. If this is fucked up, it's over. It's over. You're going to lose. Guaranteed. <laughs> but maybe we are maybe we are uh, maybe you know the matrix was right you know the matrix uh, could be possibly closer to the truth than you guys might think you know but I'll leave it at that blame the Morpheus <laughs> don't blame me <laughs> So which door did it open? This one. This is the one. Now I want to check something here. Yes, we are using the graphics mode, uh, enhanced visuals. Uh, I want to say a couple of things here. Uh, this game it's running at the source resolution of 2560 by 1440, and uh, I'm rendering it at 2560 by at 3840 by 2160. So basically, in another words. Uh, this game, it's 
running at a source QHD 1440p resolution and I am upscaling it to 4K 2160. And it's also using a Xbox One X graphics mode to enhance the graphics. So there you have it. I felt like I should uh, let people know about this. <clears throat> Open the door. Do it. Open the door, Senusa. Welcome to God of War. It's like crossing into another world that looks the same but feels different. An imposter world where the forest itself is watching. Hold on, I don't want to get lost here. Gotta be careful. Oh, they're very difficult. Believe me when I tell you. They're very difficult. There's something here. What the hell is this? There's something there. I see the birds. Birds. They're circling. Another gate. Another gate. <laughs> you know what to do. Stay back. You have to open it. It's not. So I have to climb over here. I want to li line them up. I want to do it. I need to climb up somewhere here, like over there, and then from there, align these. Let's 
closed. Um, I think the real-time ray tracing is definitely going to help. That extra memory, extra teraflops going to give us much more enhanced texture filtering. So it's going to be, you'll see the difference, uh, absolutely. But remember what Phil Spencer said, the amount of difference and how much of that difference do you see will depend on developers and how much of that power developers are using. Uh, so ultimately, at the end of the day, it's all going to be dependent on developers and how much of that power are they willing to use. I know, it's crazy. Where is this? There has to be another way. There has to be another way. Can I go through here? Come on. A rabbit. Follow the rabbit. Where is... Wait, wait, wait. Follow the rabbit. Did anything change? No, it's got to be, I got to be on the top. I need to figure out a way how to get to the top.
Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Ah, wait, 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 wait. Look, there's eyes. They're watching me. Are they? No? Dude, that's freaky. Oh my god. I don't know if you guys saw what I just saw. Dude. This game, it's really playing tricks on you. Fuck. That's fucked up, man. This game is tricky. Hold on. Follow the rabbit. Where is the rabbit? Where the fuck is the rabbit? Nothing changed. Is anything changed here? How the hell do I get up there? Oh yeah, the games can do that, bro. 100%. Hold on, there must be something here. Oh, there is something here, hold on. What the fuck? Wait, wait, wait.
There's got to be something else I got to do here. Maybe a shortcut. No. Why would I be going this way? This makes no sense. What is this? So I need to reach up there, but how? How would I do it? How would I do it? Goddamn eyes everywhere. I keep hearing the rabbit. Follow the rabbit. But I don't see the rabbit. Or maybe, maybe there's some kind of a mechanism here. Maybe. Nope. Doesn't look like it. What in the hell? Wait, there's something up there. How the fuck did it open? How the fuck did it open? God damn, this game's so freaky. Now something it's open over here. Allegedly. What the? Is he over here?
last time, last winter before the tragedy, she journeyed into the wilds of her native land, living off berries, roots and rabbits. It's not uncommon, you see. We call such a person a gout. Some, like truth, become gout in search of penance. Others, like Senua, the purge occurs. Those who make it back are forever changed. Who? No. Not not yet. Not yet. You gotta go take the stairs. I mean the ladder. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Man, this game's fucking me up with all these voices. Here we go. She can get up now. She can get up now. What's happening? She can get up now. She can she get up. It must be magic. Dark magic. A trick. Well, Raven. Tricking her. Raven. How can she get up? Bait. It's him. Dark magic draws her closer. It's not him. He's helping her. It's not him. It's a trick. She's doing it on her own. He's not tricking her. It's magic. It's an illusion. Come on. Quit playing tricks on me. Oh, forget it, dude. No way. I can get up now. But where? Where? I can get up now. I can get up now. I can get up now. I can get up. How? How do I get up? I can get up now. Oh. I see what they're saying. I can get up now. I can get up now. Wait! Wait a minute. Not so quick.
What? Whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell is that? What the fuck is that? So I can get up now. I can, I can. The illusion. The illusion. You see, it's all a goddamn illusion. It's right in front of your eyes and you can't see it. Tricks are being played on you constantly. You see? Can't you see? Can't you see? Ah, this game will definitely give you nightmares. For sure. Into Valhalla. Into Valhalla. Into Valhalla. We go. Wait a minute. Here we go. Into Valhalla. Nah, nah, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Go this way. Go this way. Nah, go that way. You should go this way. Into Valhalla. Open the Valhalla. Do it. Valhalla. We picture fear and we think of a shadow in the woods. A creature in the night. If only it were that simple. The worst kind comes without warning. A deep and primal signal from within. A reminder that just because you cannot see the threat, it doesn't mean that it's not already here. The argument has to find another route. Truth says there's always another route. Find a way, Seymour. Go round, Seymour. Find your own path. There's a different way. I know, Brenda, man. Thank you. Y don't worry. You're my brother, man. You're in my cool books. Um, it's just that cloud gaming, you know, if it's just because it's not for me, doesn't mean you guys should give up playing on a cloud gaming. It's just I just don't have, you know, the uh, the nerves or the time to be tweaking my internet, to be tweaking things around to get uh, something to work. You know, it's just I don't find it uh, enjoyable. You know, if it was something that was free, fine. But uh, the fact that I have to tweak things around just to get uh, the game to work on a cloud. Uh, like today, I get kicked out of the stadia like 50 times. And I'm like, the hell with this shit, you know. Um, look at this. This, nothing can change this. This is the console you playing it directly from a console you know nothing will change that for me We fight, we fight here and now. Close. 
Oh, fuck. Get up, get up, get up. Get out of the way, out of the way. What the fuck? He got me. Hold on, let me move myself a little bit here. Like, over here. I mean, you can try, listen man, you should try Amazon, you should try xCloud, you should try all of these services. Uh, what I'm trying to say to people is, uh, it's not my cup of tea, and just because it's not my cup of tea doesn't mean like that you should stop, you know, being on the cloud. You know, or look if you have a great list. This is what I'm trying to say to people: if you have a great experience on the cloud, and everything's working hunky dory, uh, no issues, no problems, then hey, dude, you know, enjoy it. But for me, I just don't feel comfortable paying money for for a service that it's half-baked sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't you know uh, it, it's paying 60 bucks for something that you don't own and you don't have that game with you and it's sitting somewhere on a cloud server and then so many issues you have to deal with maybe the server is being overloaded it's not working properly your internet connection is not stable etc 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 maybe there's another glitch going on with the windows and and you know the the stadia and a chrome browser there's so many things that you have to jump hoops through and you're paying for it you know and i don't like paying for something where i have to deal with that i mean if you pay for something you shouldn't have to worry about anything it should work end of story that's that's my motto that's the way I look at things. If you pay for something, it should be there for you. It should be delivered. It's their job to, to make it to work. That's their job. They're the big corporations. They have giga trillions of dollars. It's their job to make it work. I don't care if they have to create a voodoo magic or pull something out of their ass. It is their job to make it fucking work. Okay. I'm a consumer. And as a consumer, I don't like it. You know. It's really it's, it's simple as that. You know. I haven't had any problems with this game because I'm playing it from Xbox. I'm playing it from a console. I don't have any problems with uh, Predator's hunting grounds because I'm playing it from a console, you know. And that will never change. Uh, that You can't change that for me. Playing something locally. Same thing with a PC. Playing it locally from your hard drive. You just can't. There's no substitute for that. And not to mention the fact that you own this game. This game is yours. Alright, let's fight. But if you guys, listen. If you guys are enjoying your xCloud, uh, I mean your, uh, your Stadia or your Shadow or your xCloud. If you guys are enjoying it and it's working for you. Maybe you have a great internet. Maybe you got that kick-ass fiber optics. I don't know. The best of the best. Maybe you're next to the data center. And you got the best of the best. If it's working for you. Dude. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. But for me. It ain't for me. I don't have time to be uh, fucking around. And tweaking this. Tweaking that. And then paying the money. Just. I don't have time for that guys. Uh, wasting time trying to get something to work. On Shadow and, and Stadia, uh, it's, you know, and I know why it's not working properly. Because when I first signed up with Stadia, there wasn't that many people. You have to pay, you have to join $10 a month, and you have to buy $140 equipment to try Stadia. And not many people were buying it. So guess what? The, the servers were not being overloaded. As they are right now, as they are today, especially with this COVID-19. Think about it. You got COVID-19 and 
you got them giving people three months to try it out for free. So that leaves me, a guy who supported them, a guy who spent money on them, leaves me in a fucking wet stick end of it. It means I get the wet stick end of it. Because now I cannot play it because their servers are not ready, they're not upgraded to handle the capacity of people they're trying it out for free. If shit is free, people are going to jump on it. That's just a human nature. If something is free, yeah, fucking everybody's going to jump on that fucking pony. Uh, and that leaves me in the fucking dust. Now, I cannot enjoy it because every yayo is jumping on Stadia trying to, to play it. So I'm like, fuck this. I don't want to deal with this shit. You know, it's not my internet. As you clearly, as you guys can see, I'm live streaming. It's their servers. They're overloaded, overrun. <clears throat> and that's something that's going on right now. And in general, like I said, it's just not worth it to me. Maybe in a perfect world where everybody's got uh, perfect internet and and perfect servers, everything's perfect, one big kumbaya cloud server heaven. When that day comes, fine, fine, I'll have no choice. I'll have to join. But right now, I have a choice. I have a choice. I have a choice to play my games the way, the way I should be playing them, not trying to connect to the Internet to, to play the game that I paid for. So this is just my take on it, just my opinion. You know, doesn't mean just because I feel this way, you should feel that way. You know, it's just me. I don't have the nerves for that nonsense, you know, to deal with that crap, especially when you're paying and you're giving them money. You know. <clears throat> Got you, you bastard. That's that. Oh, May 7th. That's, uh, let me see. May 7th. What day is that? Third. Thursday. That's Thursday, right? 8 a.m. Oh, my God. Why does it have to be... So early, man. Fuck. I, I got. I. I'm doing something during the day. I cannot do that. Damn it. It's always these. They're doing these. Uh, fuck. Damn it. Why does it has to be Thursday? Cannot do Thursday, guys. I'm busy Thursday. Um. Nah, I won't be able to do it, man. Nah. I won't be able to do it. But that's okay. I'll just rehash. I'll just do a video on it, or maybe I'll do a live stream on it, and I'll talk about it. You know, I'll I'll tell you what I'm gonna do on Thursday night. What I'm gonna do on Thursday night is I'm gonna look at the video, uh, what they were showing, what games they were showing, and then I'm gonna go and give you my opinions and views and thoughts on it on Thursday night around 10 o'clock. And then I'm going to have a live stream while we are going through the, uh, the Xbox live event uh, pre-recorded. I'll go through the video and I'll give you my impressions. I'll give you my, you know, uh, thoughts and opinions, stuff like that. You know, 
well, I'm busy during the day. I'm working two jobs. There's no way I can do it, man. Uh, and then you got to remember, I got to come back Thursday night. Uh, and uh, I'm going to be exhausted uh, throughout the day. You know, you guys got to remember, it's not my main gig. You know, this is what I try to tell people, man. This is not my main gig. Uh, and I don't have like people working for me, like doing stuff for me. Uh, so I do this all by myself. And um, it's just going to be difficult, man. Well, how do you do it? You split it. Uh, you do one that's only like three days and do the other one that's only like uh, another three days. So it's like you do part-time, part-time, two jobs, part-time, part-time. That's how you do it, man. You split two jobs in part-time, part-time. But I don't think it's going to happen, guys. I don't think I'll be able to do it. I'm just letting you know right now, there's just no way I'll be able to do it. The only thing I can do is a pre-recorded uh, video impression, uh, live stream or something like that. All right, the game, it's saved. Cool. All what the hell is this? The Northmen say that Odin and his brothers killed Ymir and that the world of man was formed from his corpse. They made his bones into stone, and his flesh into earth, and his blood into the salt sea. They set his skull to be the bowl of the sky, with his brains for clouds. Odin and his brothers caught the sparks flying from Muspel, and made them into stars. And to protect the new world from the giants, they used Ymir's great curving eyebrows as walls. It's a great game, dude. This is a great game. Um, I just I wish that I had time to to play more of this because uh, I got something I got to do. Uh, something I got to do inside the house. <laughs> um, listen, I appreciate you guys stopping by and you know joining me here. I love it when it's just you guys members because uh, it makes it more enjoyable. You know, that way I don't have to deal with uh, idiots. Uh, fakers and you know those twats but I like when you guys are here wow that's crazy mr. urban yeah <sighs> shit happens man people you know weak mind Remember, that's what this game is dealing about. People who have weak mind. Uh, that's weakness, you know. Uh, you got to be able to uh, to hold it together, man. Not to slip down into the insanity. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. You know, like I said, you know, it's just, it's hard for me to tell when when i can do something when i cannot do something because you know i gotta i have other things i have to take care of other things i have to worry about you know and uh trying to find the time trying to squeeze the time to do these uh streams it's uh, always a pressure trying to find time to squeeze it you know thank you guys I'll see you soon, though. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right, guys. You all stay safe. Be good. And uh, you should definitely try this game. You should definitely try uh, Game Pass, Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. Thank you, Mr. Urban. You know. And sorry to hear about your friend. I mean, that that's, uh, that's crazy. Oh, that wasn't your friend. That's your co-worker, right? Uh, that's crazy. You see, you think you know somebody. You see, it's interesting thing that Mr. Urban just uh, point out here. Anybody's capable of anything, guys. Uh, this is why I keep telling people this right here, the CPU. If you don't keep this under control, you're going to find yourself in totally different reality. Uh, so you have to keep the shit together. Uh, 
people lose uh, their marbles when you lose this right here when this is not working then uh, anything can happen so uh, I always tell people keep your head cool keep yourself under control man you got to be able to detach from whatever ego you have or whatever shit it is that you're going through uh, because if you lose this it's over you know a co-worker yeah man and uh, that's crazy yeah. so anyone can be vulnerable anyone can be fragile and I think that's what this game it's also showing us uh, because that's where you get tested you get tested can you handle it are you gonna go and lose it or are you gonna keep it calm the, the individuals who can keep it balanced and keep it calm they're usually the ones that are strongest because they're able to control it that's where the strength is okay that's where you keep your strength is in controlling it uh, but some people well you've seen what happened you've seen what happened in Canada you've seen what happened in, in Las Vegas you've seen what happened in Paris you've seen what I mean not Paris the other places what happened here in Florida in that school with that crazy kid uh, so you really have to um, I don't want to use the word crazy what I'm trying to say is this they lose this once this is disconnected once once this is corrupted when you're fine when you here's what I'm trying to say when your central processing unit your CPU when your CPU central processing unit which is the brain when your CPU it's corrupted that's it you know like a computer when the CPU is not working properly everything's going freezing left right blue screen normal screen blue screen left right everything's popping up it's kinda like that you are just spinning into the twilight zone the outer world the outer limits or whatever uh, and then if you lose that if you lose this man uh, that's scary that's the only thing that should scare you and that's the only thing that scares me but thankfully I know how to control you know myself I, I mean for 41 years man I've been like I said I've been through war I've been through all kinds of things but I was always able to control myself yes I do blow up sometimes and I start you know arguing and saying this and that but I always know my limit I know when to retreat I say okay this is the line I'm retreating you know and some people they don't know how to do that because they they lose this the central processing unit it's corrupted and they can't you know and then the unthinkable happens and after, after that it's that's over you know anyway the reason I'm mentioning this stuff is because you mentioned about your co-worker and what he has done which is you know there's your point right there you know who would have expected that co-worker to do that to kill another man right but there it happened um, and then I don't know did, did the guy survive or uh, was he just shot or what happened can you give us some more detail uh, mr. urban world since we we're mentioning it did the other person survive or did he uh, did he pass away oh the guy died he shot him multiple times as he sat inside of his car wow that was the execution man that was the execution there you go there you go I mean and this is, happens all the time this happens all over it happens in major metropolitan cities it's just you don't hear about it enough you don't hear about it enough uh, but this happens all the time and why does it happen it happens because a person becomes weak and loses this you know you lose your 
central processing unit, it's not working anymore. And now you are let loose. And now you're capable of anything. And that should scare everybody. That should terrify everyone. You know, mental health is the most important thing we should be talking about. And that's why I brought this game up. That's why, you know, I'm that's why I played through this game on the Xbox One X and talked about the Xbox Game Pass because um, the mental health guys is the most important issue that needs to be talked about and you can give somebody a pill you can give somebody a drug it doesn't work uh, Tom Cruise was right I don't care what anybody says he was right the idea is not to mask the problem the idea is to do it naturally where you can control yourself and get better naturally doing it naturally okay not using some pills so you can get hooked onto it to make big pharmacies happy um, big pharma and uh, he's right you know regardless of what your views are about what he you know the whole thing that happened between him Brooke Shield and uh, Tom Cruise and what's his name? Um, Jesus Christ. He's not part of the NBC anymore, Today Show, because of the, uh, the sexual allegations. Uh, Matt, uh, Matt Lauer, right? Matt Lauer. And uh, I always agreed with Tom. Even in 2005, I said, hey, I don't know why you guys getting upset about Tom. He's right. He's right about what he said you know anyway that's another topic for another time now everybody's gonna say oh uh, you know mr. Forke is a huge Tom admirer he's probably wants to join Scientology oh, God <laughs> listen um, I've, I've been through relationships man uh, and uh, I had my share of relationships but you gotta remember this you gotta remember this you do not own her she does not own you uh, you have to be prepared that there will might come a time where this person will you know do something stupid like cheat on you or you know do something behind your back but you gotta let her go you gotta say okay goodbye I'm done. I'm leaving. Uh, just, just move and leave. Do it immediately. Don't try to make it work. Uh, it's not going to work. Obviously, she's not going to change. She's going to continue to do what she's doing. And, and I've been through this experience myself. So the best thing to do is just let it go. Leave. Just leave. Uh, okay. And uh, move on. Move on. Look. You'll find somebody else out there. Believe me, there's there's plenty of them out there. If you if you want a girlfriend, you're gonna find it. Let me let me repeat this one more time. I don't want a girlfriend, okay? So I'm I'm just not in that in my life where I don't need one at the moment. Um, so that's just my choice. But if you want one, there's there's plenty of them out there, okay? But be prepared that you're gonna have to deal with the drama, with every single one of them. They're all going to have their own weaknesses and good points and, 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 and positives and negatives. It's just something you have to be, you have to be able to deal with, you know. You're not going to find a perfect uh, companion. You're not going to find a perfect partner. You're not going to find a perfect, uh, uh, you know, relationship. It's not going to happen. But I hope you can find something that both of you can have honesty and trust. Honesty and the trust is the key, really, to, to any kind of healthy relationship. But in today's world, good luck finding that. All right, guys, I got to go. And uh, I'll see you guys soon. Cheers. All right, guys, have a good one, though. I'll keep you posted. I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. Uh, like I said, I'll keep you posted. I'll put something on my YouTube page if I'm doing something uh, you'll know it I'll 
put on the community feed. Remember, always check my community feed. That's where you're going to find out what I'm doing next. So keep, by, keep your eyes on the community feed, on the YouTube. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I might do some Streets of Rage tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you. Appreciate it. And I'll see you. Cheers. Have a good one, though. Be good. Be safe.